My name is Ernest Mateis. I'm an associate professor of film studies at UBC and I've just been enjoying the film Bullhead that's screening at the Vancouver International Film Festival and is supported by Tulip TV. I think it's very well deserved that Bullhead is becoming the Belgium uh, candidate for the, uh, for the Oscars. I think it's the best Belgian film that's uh, for this purpose in a, in a long time. It's very rarely that a Flemish film gets to get that honor. It's usually the Francophone films who, uh, who get to become the candidates. So it's, go it's going to be a very special occasion and hopefully the film will actually win. If you look at it, it's a f the film is a combination of different genres, but I would, I would probably describe it as a, as a dramatic thriller with some horror elements and a great degree of realism. So uh, it's, it's a film that scores across many different plateaus and that's probably one of its, uh, one of its qualities. I definitely think that Bullhead meets some of the criteria of becoming a cult film. Ultimately, it's the audience that decides whether a film becomes a cult film. But if you look at some of the uh, cringing and flinching moments in Bullhead, then I, then I kind of see that it has a lot of cult potential. There are several scenes in Bullhead that show the human body under in grave danger, under great attack. And those moments typically are singled out by audiences who prefer cult cinema. I'm delighted that the film is being programmed here in Vancouver for the, uh, for the International Film Festival. It's difficult to predict what audience will make of it, but I, I guess I estimate that they will probably be impressed by the skill and the talent with which the film was made. And hopefully also, uh, see the film as one of the best ways of understanding what Belgium is all about through a film. I don't think I can ever be turned into a vegetarian, but after seeing this film, no one can claim that they're unaware of the kind of tricky things that go on with our food and the people who manufacture it. It's quite an eye-opener and a stomach-opener in that respect. In a sense, Bullhead fits a distinguished tradition in cult cinema of the food relationship between animals and human beings. It's in that sense very much like Soil and Green or uh, La Grande Bouffe, two films with which it shares an appetite for the human body. It's very similar to the cinema of David Cronenberg in which human flesh and its transformations are at the center of, what, of our cultural actions. And maybe because of that, Canadian audiences will like it, will like it better than other audiences.